got some turkey bacon, trying to be healthy. And I got some eggs. We're gonna whip up a breakfast. These guys invited me on a little shed hunt trip. So say what's, what's up, up to Sheldon and Colton. How's it going? These guys are over here cooking a little something something too. And they got the real deal. Let me give you a good look at this stuff. Look at that. They got the real bacon, but yeah, they got the double burner uh, camp chef going. Bright. We pulled, <laughs> holy cow, it's so bright this way. We pulled up late last night and we really didn't have much time, so I threw down the canvas cutter. These guys slept in the pickup truck bed. We knew it was going to be great weather, so we opted uh, to not take the camp trailers and just enjoy it. So we have a full day today and we have at least, at a minimum, a half day tomorrow to hit it for sheds so of course we're looking for deer looking for elk but mainly we're going to target elk sheds any expectations colton big sheds oh, big sheds big brown set that's your goal that's the plan my goal is to glass an elk shed that's like that's like my only goal right now very doable all right guys we are just now getting started on the hike we plan to be out for the entire day so we got food and water I got the spotting scope this time. It looks like it's going to be some good glassable country. Got Sheldon leading the way, Colton heading out. So three of us hitting it all day. Here we go. We're starting to get into more and more elk signs slowly as we climb in elevation. So right now we're kind of down low in these cedars, but I think all three of us are headed to higher grounds. In hopes to find more elk. We're getting into some old track, some old droppings. So a good sign nonetheless. I think we just need to get up in these ridges before we start really getting into them. So you check this out. We got beds, elk tracks. So they're in here somewhere. Should have taken this earlier. Going with green apple ignite. No sheds yet guys. I decided to come Kind of on the back side of the ridge where we started. Went through some cliffs, some ledges. Really, really rocky. A lot of shell rock. Just kind of thought maybe some bulls would pull up in that nasty canyon in winter. But there was no tracks. I'm going to hit this high stuff for a little while. And if not, work my way back down low. Well, guys, I am cutting through some thick, thick cedars. Kind of on a north slope. Definitely not the zone. From the tracks and everything I see here. The zone, but I'm gonna continue to climb in elevation and try to get to some uh, ridges I can see on Onyx map. We're getting our butts kicked trying a new spot today, but that's the risk you take. So this direction I go. Well, it wasn't too long after I put the camera away walking through this thick stuff. Look down, what do you know? Nice three point deer shed up here in the nastiest stuff. <clears throat> Still, I mean, even though it's years old, it's actually in decent condition because it has been up here in the shade. Funny, I saw all these, uh, all this stuff that's fallen recently off the pine tree because of the high winds, I'm sure. And there lays the first shed of the day. Would have been a little four point. Looks like it broke or got chewed. But uh, yeah, mule deer sheds way up here on the snowy side, north facing slope. Dang, so if deer are up here, where, where, wonder where the elk could be or how high they could possibly be anywhere, I guess. So carrying on, guys, that way. But hey, we've got a shed. Holy crap. This has to be one of the largest ant hills or mounds whatever you want to call this I've ever seen jeez things huge they're collecting all the pine needles and stuff from around here look at it there's hardly a pine needle on the dirt because they piled them up talk about an army these guys aren't going to be happy that I'm right here look at all of them <laughs> I hate to stick my hand into that. 
Ah, oh, geez, that's a lot of ants. Well guys, we pretty much got dominated all day. I think we went 13, 14 miles. Anyways, that's what the iPhone said. But we're back at our little camp spot. I'm cooking dinner, check it out, eating healthy. So this was just convenient and healthy. It's a can of lemon pepper chicken, mostly protein, a little bit of fat, a little bit of carbs. And these are like just free calories because they're so low in calories, four grams per serving of carbs, then no fat. That's dinner just mixed up, a little salt and pepper. But yeah, the other guys didn't do so hot either. Sheldon got one deer shed right here. Kind of a cool buck. Cool base, little tiny dropped eye guard thing on the back side of it, but it's got a cool frame. So yeah, we, we got worked. Oh man, look what these guys have. Kind of jealous right now. This is deer? Yeah. Oh geez. On peppers? Oh, you think you'd you think this would be my meal and the other one would be your guys. What's going on? They said you eat like you eat so good. I think they're eating pretty good right now. I'm just eating simple and uh easy. I didn't want to pack too much coming out here. So yeah. Green bean and chicken for me. Where are we going today? Hmm? Fishing! Where? Here. I taught him well. He doesn't just shout out the locations like uh, this guy does. Where are we at, Gage? I, <laughs> I didn't even tell him. I don't even actually know. Some little local pond here where we live. In all reality, Winston's only been fishing maybe once in his life. Twice. I don't think any either time was a great experience for him. We caught a fish from a boat one time, right? The thing about getting your kids excited about the woods and the outdoors, if it's fishing or hunting or camping, what I've learned, when, what I continue to learn is you gotta make it fun. It can't all be about catching the most fish and chasing the biggest bucks. It's just about getting out and having fun, doing what they want to do. Wow. So I'm sure we're gonna be chasing butterflies today. Probably be stirring around ant hills and hopefully catch an eight pound fish. Ready to go catch a fish? You gotta walk. Your legs are hurting? Yeah. Rip this thing in half there with Gager. I showed you this before. Yeah. Gage really likes to pull the, oh, I can't remember how to do a card. Just kidding, Gage likes to bait these. That was a fish. And my uh, lunch buffet was like limited to insects and aquatic life. I'd eat that. Oh, really? It was really a subpar cast on my part, I apologize. But I think it will work. This is what fishing with a four-year-old usually comes down to. Dad, I want to reel it in. I want to reel it in. This kid's going to get wet, guaranteed. He's going to fall. Oh, right there. See that? Get the hook, get the, get the weight. It went under. It's a fish. You got a fish in there? No. Not yet? These strong rocks in already. What is that, Winston? What is that? Oh, quick release. There he goes. <laughs> Eat one. They're like a gummy worm. That's it in half. You do it. Both of us. Okay. Okay, put it on the hook. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. All the way. All the way. What's on the end of it? What's on the end of it? What's on the end of it? What is that? Look it. 
You want to hold him? No. Come here and hold him. Just come touch him. No, I don't want to touch him. Okay, we got to put him back into water though. Can you touch him before we put him back into water? No. Just touch him. No. Okay, I'm going to put him back. Yeah. I'm going to put him back in the water to let him go. Want to touch him before we go? No, I'm not. I can't put him in there. I got to put him into water, so that's where he lives. Ready? What do you think about that? You wanted nothing to do with the fish. I thought you wanted to touch a fish. <laughs> Ooh, look at that thing. Dude, do you want me to call the uh, local paper? I can come take your picture. Nice, bro. Here, bud. Let's see him get it out. Here. Now just, yep, keep going. There you go. Now put him back in. Let him go, let him There you go. Good work, man. Good release. Decided to take a hike today. Put a trail cam up uh, back in end of October. So I figured now would be a good time to go retrieve it, see what's on there. First thing we got to make sure of though, is it still there? Second thing is that it didn't get bumped. Third thing, hopefully we capture some kind of cool footage. I'm making my way up the mountain. Nice cool breeze. Probably about another half an hour away from it. Cross her fingers, she's still there. All right, dropping into the saddle. I put this camera, it looks like our first objective is good. The camera is still here, it has not been bumped. Second one, that's good, right there. Now we got to just make sure there's no catastrophic SD card or setup failure. And uh, cross our fingers, we got some animals on there. I had this camera set on the uh. 4k video mode in a 30 second clips so more than likely the batteries are gonna be dead files are gonna be so big I can't use my SD card reader into my phone or honestly even plug them into the vlog camera to see what's on there so we will look at it together when I get back home throw the SD card on my computer and let it load when I checked it the last time I was up here actually hunting the extended hunt got some super cool footage of a buck making a bunch of noise with some does There's a possibility since it was up through just like probably batteries didn't die until end of December that we could get some elk on here, maybe some moose, hopefully some bucks that were still kind of on the tail end of the rut, but never really know. I do know that I should have moved the camera a little bit different to get just a better angle of the footage. It's amazing what kind of intel you can learn from these trail cameras based on their movements or habits or activities, the time of day they're bouncing around. The vocalization part was pretty crazy to be able to see some of that. Around here where we hunt sometimes a deer that you may find in the summer, you may relocate them in the winter and the distance that they travel is very, very impressive. They migrate quite a bit, more so than you would think in uh, in search of the does as the rut comes on. So these deer move around a ton and uh, that part is also kind of cool to see when you connect the dots and you're like, hey, I recognize that buck. You can kind of just look at a map and try to find out, man, how did they get to that spot? So this is the uh, Stealth Cam DS4K camera. So it shoots in 4K video and photo if you so choose to. Yeah, like I su suspected the batteries are toast. We've had a lot of success with the Stealth Cam batteries lasting a long time when they're just on your typical photo burst mode. We've had them up at our high country, high country deer camp where we put them up in the summertime. We didn't retrieve them all winter, went back the next year in late spring and they were still taking photos. Snack time. Let's see what I have. I didn't really bring much. Home pocket. Mm, let's see here. Three egg whites, 14 peanuts, two dates, no BS. Okay. I'm a big fan of these. I've told you this before, but I'm a fan of the Mountain Ops trail packs because I can just leave them in my different backpacks and then just snag a thing of water. Away you go. So I'm gonna mix this up. 
eat this chalky bar that my wife bought at Costco, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know. It might be okay, but... So for this whole Mountain Ops 90 day challenge, this is uh, my main objective, honestly, is just getting out and hiking more. I enjoy being out in the woods to get my exercise. I think it uh, builds up your cardio, your leg muscles, because you're gonna be doing the same exact thing during hunting season. So why not train how you're gonna be hunting? So for me, eating a little bit cleaner and then hiking a lot more. I'm gonna get things packed up here, head back down to the truck, and when I get back to my house, we'll fire in that SD card and see if we caught anything cool. Just got back to the office. Time to see what we got on here. The first clip we're watching, watching it together. Probably the coolest thing about the 4K camera is just the video and particularly the audio that you get from these video clips. Nothing crazy. A couple cool clips, but um, no like big bucks or anything super wild like we found. Uh, that first clip I showed you was probably the coolest one that we got this season. And like I suspected, the batteries died on uh, December 20th. And I got a lot of false triggers from storms, and that was my fault for putting it in a bad spot where I had a couple little um, trees in front of the camera that when the wind would blow really bad, accidentally tr trigger the video. That certainly helped drain the battery. So, I know we need to go collect some cameras up at our deer camp. Also, Casey's got some different cameras out in Idaho. So it'll be fun to see if uh, we got anything cool at the kind of tail end of fall and then into the winter months on those cameras. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I just want to start out real quick and congratulate anybody, or everybody I should say, that signed up for the 90 day mountain ops transformation with us a month ago. We are one month down and we only have two months to go. High five. So if you signed up, hopefully it's going well for you, you're working hard, you're staying motivated, and you're keeping your end goal in sight. I know for me it has been a lot of hard work, but I am so happy to where I'm at. I'm so glad I decided to do this and I'm not looking back and regretting the fact that I didn't sign up. But if you haven't signed up and you wanna sign up, you still have a chance. You have until May 20th to sign up for the Mountain Ops 90 Day Challenge. So if you guys have been following along for the last month, you know that we are giving a lot of stuff away. And for the month of April, Mountain Ops was giving away an elk hunt to the state of Idaho. All you had to do was buy a product from Mountain Ops in the month of April, and you were entered in to win that. And I believe they're gonna draw that this week. Number two is we were giving away a Hoyt RX-1 and a dozen Easton Arrows. And the way you were entered into that is if you bought something from Mountain Ops in the month of April and you used the code HUSH, H-U-S-H. We will be drawing that this next week. I currently have in my hand the top 10 finalists for the new Hoyt RX-1 and Easton Arrows. Now, I don't wanna to show too much before we actually draw the winner of this, but here are the 10 names. I'm just gonna show you the first couple letters. So that brings us to May. What are we doing in May? What you need to do is go to mountainops.com, order some product, and use the code HUSH, H-U-S-H. And you will be winnered into win a brand new Weatherby WeatherGuard 300 Win Mag, and to top it off, a Vortex Viper HSLR scope 4 to 16 by 50 to go on top of your new Weatherby. And also what we're gonna do this month is we are gonna give away product every Thursday on the Hush Life Vlog. That's what we're doing right now, the Hush Life Vlog. So every order this month from Mountain Ops that uses the Hush code, H-U-S-H, will not only be entered into win the Weatherby and the Vortex, but we are gonna be giving away free Mountain Ops product every Thursday. This week, we will be giving away the weight loss combo stack. So if you're looking to lose weight, that is the uh, combo stack that you are gonna want. That is currently what I'm using to reach my end goals of losing some extra LBs. But also for the month of May, the weight loss combo stack is on sale for 20% off. All you have to do is enter the code HUSH when you order, and not only will you save 20% on that, but you will be entered into when the Weatherby and Vortex, and you'll be entered into when free Mountain Op supplements every week. Just a quick recap of what 
what I just talked about, if it made no sense to you, because in my head I'm thinking back and maybe it didn't make any sense what I was saying, sign up for the Mountain Ops 90 Day Challenge, order some Mountain Ops product, and use the hush code H-U-S-H at checkout, and you will be entered in to win amazing prizes, and you will be entered into feeling better, losing weight, becoming stronger, all the above. What's up guys, I'm actually back home. It's been crazy, I've been out over the weekend with my buddy Joel and his girlfriend Ellie. Um, Joel is Whitetail Fit on Instagram. He came here from Nebraska and did a shed hunt with me. So we went out and hit it hard. Found a pile of sheds. It should be a three or four day series of videos coming up soon. But I'm going to head out solo right now. It's going to be hard to see, but I got the old Honda Red in the pickup truck. Got some goods in the uh, Silverado. Got the Camp Chef in there, sleeping bag all the vortex optics so i'm gonna be going on a shed hunt just solo and i'm gonna be gone for a couple days depending on how my motivation levels do out there but tomorrow is opening day of the shed season in wyoming colorado and nevada so it's gonna be really fun to see what everyone picks up out there just a quick heads up on the 90 day challenge for any of you who are following along and doing the, the fitness program or the challenge just want to say congratulations we have completed month one so that's four weeks i've been killing it um i've been really active i've missed a few days in the gym because i've been out shed hunting but other than that i've been following the program following the workouts and i've been eating so healthy eating healthy supplementation and the workouts those three combined are are why i feel so good so i'm excited for you guys and anybody who's following the program congratulations it's one out of three months so it's only eight more weeks if you haven't joined the 90 day challenge i'd like to invite all of you to check it out on the mountain ops website okay so if you come to the more section you can still register for the 90 day challenge you can also hit the the conquer fitness this is going to take you to a landing page where you can check out different workouts my workouts on there is at griffith i know we showed you this before but stage two of my program just barely became uh, public on the website so little intro to stage two all the workouts it's going to be a lot of supersets and a lot of drop sets so the workouts are going to be the same movements a lot of the same movements just different tempo casey went over this already but we're really excited because we're giving away a weatherby rifle topped with a vortex scope this month all you have to do to enter is use the hush code in the little discount section apply h-u-s-h and you're automatically enter to win the gun and the scope this month okay so the entire month of may hope you guys are having a good week and anybody who's going out shed hunting i wish you luck good luck be safe have fun and uh yeah we'll catch you on the next vlog mm -hmm.